Hi, bo hi, boys and girls. So what I have for you today is this uh, super cool flamingo foam craft for you. So here in the instructions, they'll come in your kit. So let's take everything out of our kit, see what we have. We have a couple of pink feathers, some pipe cleaners, a piece of string, big circle, flamingo face, and these circles with a self-adhesive back. So I'm gonna go ahead and punch these out right now. Do the big one, and then from the big one, do the little one. So take these circles, put them over here. This is going to be my main body. What side do I want to use? I think this is the side I want to be the upper part. Oh! And you also have a piece of foam. Um, this piece of foam, I'm going to set it aside just for now. We'll come back to it. So, what do we need to do? Let's... How do I want to start? You know, I think I'm going to start by unfurling my pipe cleaners. Because that is important. We are going to need these. These are the neck and the little leggies. So, there are my pipe cleaners. Now I'm just going to sort of lay them out how I think I'm going to want them. Yep, that works for me. Uh, and I said this was going to be the top, so I'm going to flip it over. And remember that if you flip it over, everything's going to be backwards. So I'm going to reposition the legs how I want them. Like so. Then I'm going to take my big circle. Uh, peel off the self-adhesive back. Aww. just to make this a little bit easier on myself. So, I'm gonna put the feathers on here. You don't have to do it, you could lay the feathers on the flamingo first and then put your self-adhesive back. I just wanna do it this way. You do it however you want. This is your flamingo, you get a make of it what you like. So, there is our self-adhesive backing. There are my flamingo feathers. And now, I'm gonna use this to attach the pipe cleaners as well. I'm gonna move this up just a little bit. So, flamingo neck, flamingo leg, other flamingo leg. exactly where I wanted it to be, and exactly the neck's where I want it to be, and the little leggies are where I want it to be. So now, we're going to do the little flamingo head. Um, and I'm actually going to twist this up, because this neck should be as straight as possible when you do this. And there's two smaller circles and one slightly larger circle. I'm going to turn this over so you can see the difference. See? There's the gap, so I'm going to take the larger circle for the little flamingo head off the self-adhesive backing, put his little flamingo head right there, and take the big part, put that right there. Okay, so then you're going to take the two smaller parts, and you're going to need to do his little feet, and let me show you how that's done. All right, so to do his little flamingo feet, you're going to take your hand and you're gonna put your hand on this piece of foam. Now, if you have multiple pieces of foam, you can just do your whole hand on one. If not, what you can do is fold it in half like this, put your little hand and you're gonna trace it with a marker. Now, my hand is very big and it won't fit on this. Your, your hand will probably fit. So, and there is a lot of real estate. If you wanna do it like this, your hands will probably fit. See, even mine just sort of barely fit like that. But you can sort of figure out how best to do it. So the way I'm gonna do it is I'm going to take the foam, fold it in half, and I made this little print of a hand, 
and I'm just gonna lay it right over the top and then I am going to cut out my little handprint. So you might want, if you go this route where you, you know, make a little template for yourself, of course you could always just draw it directly on the foam and do it that way. Uh, but if you go this route, you might want to just um, glue it down or tape it down, just to make things a little easier on you. I'm confident that I can hold this in place, and even if it's not perfect, I don't mind. Sometimes when things aren't perfect, that's good too. Maybe you get something you weren't expecting, and it comes out nicer than what you originally had intended. So. Let's cut off the top, then let's finish out the little fingers. Now, this kit doesn't come with scissors, you're going to need your own scissors, or, um, and if you're not old enough to use scissors yet, that's fine. If not, find an adult, or a older friend or a sibling that can help you do the cutting part. And let's do our last little bit. Well, not our last little bit. We still have one more little bit to go after this one. Okay. So I just need to cut out this little middle part right here. And done. There we go. So, let me move all this stuff off to the side. So, here are my little handprints, aka my flamingo feet. And just to make this easier, I'm gonna turn my flamingo over. I'm gonna lay out my flamingo feet where I want them to be. So, one right there. And I think I want the little thumbs going out. You can do it in. You can do them facing the same way. You can do whatever you want. These are yours, boys and girls. And then I'm going to take my circles with the self-adhesive backs. Peel off the self-adhesive back. Oh, it's almost harder to do. Apply it to the little handprint. Do the same for the other one. He just needs one last little step, which is your kit came with this string right here. So if you see, there's like a little nib um, or a little hole that you can pop the center out of. And then um, you could probably do this before you stuff the self-adhesive back in on. That would probably be the smartest way to do this because once the self-adhesive backing's on, this is very, very difficult to separate. But I managed to separate it just enough, which is really good. But if not, what you can do is have a parent or a little friend, or not a little friend, but an older friend, or, you know, a sibling or a guardian um, help you just punch a hole through it. And I'm tying a knot. Tie one more knot. And my flamingo. Anyway, I'm gonna tuck this in here so it's hidden away. And there we go. My flamingo friend is complete. Look at his little bobbly head, his little bobbly feet. And there it is, boys and girls. That is your flamingo foam craft kit. Hope everybody has a wonderful day and I hope you enjoyed this craft. I can't wait to see them done. Bye boys and girls.